Hello and welcome back. I'm standing here in front of a 2020 Hyundai Kona Electric, about to do a 70 mile an hour highway range test. I'm going to take this guy out onto the New Jersey Turnpike, drive at a constant 70 miles an hour up and down the Turnpike to see how far she goes. Now we recently did a 2020 Hyundai Kona highway range test. A colleague of mine, Kyle Connor from Inside EVs, did the same test that I did down in North Carolina. Now we frequently try to do this whenever we can get the car in two different regions just to do two tests. Hey, two tests are better than one. Now Kyle finished up with 229.1 miles. I'm hoping to do a little bit better because to be honest with you, the driving conditions today are perfect. It's about 70 degrees out. It's going to get up to about 75, 77. When Kyle did the test, it started in the 60s and he drove it at night. He finished up and I think it was in the high 40s. Not the best range weather. So I'm expecting to beat him by maybe 10 miles, maybe 15 miles, somewhere around there. Uh, but we'll soon find out. I'm going to check back in when I'm at about 50% give an update, see where we're at, and then we'll see how far this puppy goes. Okay, check so we're 50% in. And how good are we doing? Well, off the charts good, actually. Uh, we've driven 133 miles, and the range estimator says we can go another 137 miles. Now, I'm no math genius, but that's 270 miles. At a constant 70 miles an hour, The 2020 Hyundai Kona EV is only range rated at a 258 mile EPA range rating. So we're going to blow by the EPA range rating if this holds up uh, and we're as efficient on the second half of the trip as we were on the first half. But at right now, we are on course to, um, you know, just drive right by the EPA range rating, which I'm, st I'm still trying to process that because I've never driven uh, a uh, electric car on a 70 mile an hour highway range test that actually went further than the, the EPA range rating. Uh, typically they're, you know, 10, 15, 20% less. The closest we've ever gotten was was the 2020 Mini Cooper SE, which we were able to go 108 miles, and the EPA range rating is 110 miles. But in that car, the last three or four miles, Kyle and I kind of just drove around the charging station because we wanted to drive it until it stopped moving. So the whole thing wasn't at 70 miles an hour. The last couple miles was at lower speed, which allowed us to go a little bit further. But still, even if I matched the, the 258 range rating, uh, I'm still gonna be amazed. We're averaging four miles per kilowatt hour so far in the first half of the trip. We're at 50% state of charge now. And, um, you know, uh, if we get the 130 miles, not the 137 that it's estimating on the second on the second half, you know, we're still going to be over, over 260 miles of range, which is well beyond the EPA range rating. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to head back out onto the turnpike now. One thing I will say is we had a little bit of a tailwind on the first half for most of the first half of the trip. That's going to go away and we're actually going to have a little bit of a headwind. So I'm sure the efficiency is going to drop a little bit. How much? I don't know. It's not much of a wind. It's only about somewhere between six and eight miles an hour and not coming directly at us. So it's going to make some sort of effect. I don't think that much. We'll check back in right towards the end of the range rating before we pull into the electrifier. America uh, charging station to recharge and see where we're at. See you then. 25% battery left. It says we can go another 58 miles. We've already driven 191, almost 192 miles. So it does appear as though we're going to pretty much shatter the EPA range rating at a constant 70 miles an hour. And that's pretty crazy as far as I'm concerned. I've never done that on a 70 mile an hour highway range test. Um, however, we're not going to do quite as good as we thought we would uh, and as good as the car was telling us we would at 50% when it was saying we would have we would go 270 miles. We're not quite that good. Uh, the, the average miles per kilowatt hour now has dropped down to 3.8. It was showing 4.0 when I stopped at 50%. Um, however, as soon as I powered up the car after shooting that video, it dropped down to 3.9% and 
also the range estimate at the time was showing 137 miles when I pulled into the parking lot to shoot that video. When I turned the car on, it showed 136 miles, no big deal, one mile. But then as I drove, within the first 10 miles, I think, it went down to a 125 estimated remaining miles. So the car's range estimator is one of the least accurate, I think, on the electric vehicles that we've tested. Kind of really gave us false a uh, sense of security if I had to make a long destination. Now a lot of these, we call them gasometers, don't do a great job, but the, the one thing I have noticed, the EVs, they're getting better. Um, they seem to be more accurate. The Chevy Bolts uh, was very accurate. So was the Mini Cooper SEs. This car here, it's not accurate at all. I wouldn't rely on it if I owned a uh, Hyundai Kona EV. Uh, I would really um, go by my miles per kilowatt hour, know how big my battery is, and just use that uh, if you could do that simple math. So we're gonna check in when we get back to the Electrify America station and our complete. Looks now like we're gonna be finishing up somewhere around 240 miles, which is still great uh, and further than uh, uh, Kyle Connor of Inside EVs did when he did his Hyundai Kona 70 mile an hour range test. Now some people might ask, well if Kyle did it last month, why is Inside EVs doing another one? Well when we have the opportunity to get the car in two different areas and have it road tested by two different people, we do that. It's just another data point. I'm not saying that what I'm doing is better than what Kyle did or what he did is better than what I did, but it just gives uh, our readers another, another data point to look at. And uh, typically we're pretty close when he does a range test and I do a range test, we're within five, six miles of each other. It looks like this time the gap's gonna be much wider than that, but you'll find out when I check in next uh, at Electrify America Station when I plug in to recharge. See you then. How good we do? Really well. Finished up with 245 miles of range and 1% battery state of charge. Couldn't quite run it down to zero because the car went to turtle mode, wasn't too responsive. I'm on the highway, definitely wasn't safe, so it was time to pull off, come into the Electrify America stations, plug in, and fill her up. So we finished up with 3.4 mile per kilowatt hour average, which is admirable for this car. Honestly, much better than what I expected. And 245 miles of range is super close to the 258 mile EPA range rating. Now we didn't do quite as good as the car was estimating when we were at 50% charged, but still, 245 miles is much better than what I originally expected, much better than what my colleague Kyle Connor did when he did the same 70 mile range test in North Carolina. His conditions weren't as good as mine. It was a little cooler. It was rainy for some of the trip. He actually even stopped for a little while in the middle of the trip and continued. So it wasn't a perfect range test. No, no range test is perfect. That's why we do multiple tests to give our readers an average of what they can expect. This car here is incredibly efficient. 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour on a, at a constant 70 miles an hour. Temperature was great for range though, I have to give it that. Between 73 and 77 degrees the whole day today. Perfect, very little wind. It was just, it was great range day. So I'm not surprised that I did better than Kyle did, but I am surprised it did 245 miles. Still with 1% battery. So if you want to add on three or four miles, probably could have went about three, maybe four more miles. Little under 250, which is amazing at 70 miles an hour. 2020 Hyundai Kona electric great highway car um, great EV all around I, I, I definitely recommend these I understand why they're in such demand in the areas where they're available because it's a great little package uh, rear seating isn't so great but other than that I think it's a great deal and uh, you know hopefully this is a sign of things to come for Hyundai with the rest of their EV program see you next time